Testing has been one of the keys to taming the COVID-19 pandemic. It can tell you whether you are infected and may need treatment, or whether you are healthy and can help other people and go to work. However, most people still do not know whether they are infected, have already had COVID-19, or can work and visit their loved ones. A new Danish National Test Centre will help to answer these questions and thus help people get back to more normal daily lives while waiting for a vaccine or cure for COVID-19 to be developed. It's a component of the de-escalation strategy of Denmark to uh, ramp up our testing capacity. And there's been a uh, ramping up of the test capacity in the, in the regions. But then as an add-on, uh, we have established uh, this track uh, where we can do diagnostics both for the virus and also uh, to examine for antibodies. So in this way, it's, it's an add-on uh, to the existing uh, healthcare services and diagnostic services in order to be sure that everybody uh, who wants to be tested for whatever reason has an access to doing so. From now on, Denmark will have two testing systems. The system under the health services will test healthcare workers and people who are ill. The system for society in general under Test Centre Denmark will test people who do not have symptoms. There's been this issue uh, with a lack of supplies, testing kits, uh, uh, plastic way and so on. Uh, and we have decided to use different uh, supply chains uh, with different equipment uh, and different reagents and so on. So in that sense, we will not compete with the same suppliers. Uh, and I think that's really important because we can foresee that there will be uh, uh, challenges with the supply uh, many months ahead. A key partner in developing the new tests is Nova Nordisk AS which has made its skills and expertise available to develop and run these types of tests on a large scale. One of the things we've done is we have made a test that is now becoming solely dependent upon reagents that Novo Nordisk itself can actually uh, either develop or, or access in a way that will not compete against others. Moreover, we've been able to scale up this PCR testing for the coronavirus in, in such a way that it's available in thousands and thousands on a daily basis. And that is something that also is with a, a precision and robustness that I think is, is beneficial. Together with other partners, Ries Hospitalet in Copenhagen and Nova Nordisk are closely collaborating on both the virus test and the even greater challenge of developing a sufficiently reliable antibody test to determine whether people have had COVID-19. We have accessed, you can say, the very relevant plasmid, we call it, that codes for the specific protein, the protein we know the viruses uses to get into the human body. It's at the same time the protein that the human immune system reacts with antibodies against. So, so by expressing that, being able to take that protein, put it onto the plates and then test all the various blood samples uh, are the antibodies against this protein. That, that will be a whole new assay that, that we develop and will make available to our colleagues. This new and more accurate antibody test will soon be ready for large-scale use by Test Centre Denmark at State and Serum Institute in Copenhagen. But a key part of the project, implemented in Denmark's regions, is building a system that ensures that tests are conducted throughout Denmark and then transported to State and Serum Institute for analysis. It has involved probably 15 different governmental uh, and regional authorities, uh, including the Prime Minister's office, uh, the Ministry of Health, several directorates below the Ministry of Health, the police force, uh, the national defense, and then uh, not least important also Novo Nordisk AS, the pharmaceutical company, as well as the Novo Nordisk Foundation. All of this is under the leadership of the disease control uh, that in Denmark is called SSI, uh, that oversees and manages and owns the whole initiative. The new test center will become a fantastic research resource for combating COVID-19 and will answer key questions on whether natural antibodies provide immunity or whether there is a risk of reinfection, and whether specific types of tissue and blood increase people's risk of transmission and severe symptoms.
The capacity we have will be used in epidemiological uh, in investigations. It will be used as a part of uh, contact tracing to test people who have been in contact uh, with people who have the disease. And it can also be used to test people who work with vulnerable people. That could be people at nursing homes. In particular, if there is a, like a situation with an outbreak in a nursing home, it's important to be able to test the staff. According to Cor Mühlbach, many people want to be tested sometimes for rational reasons because they've been in contact with other people with COVID-19. In other cases, the psychological benefit of knowing for certain that you are healthy can be even more important. We actually believe that we can contribute to Denmark uh, opening up in, in a safe way so that people don't suffer too much, but at the same time, we're able to get back to work and, and live a relatively more normal life. As a company, Novo Nordisk sees our responsibility towards society being very important here. We, we have some core capabilities uh, in so far as development of tests, making them in a high throughput scale. And that is critically important in this crisis situation, both because of the health of the public. We need to make sure that as few as possible get ill and even die from the disease. Novozymes has also contributed critical testing equipment in the form of robots as a significant resource to realize this new tool to combat COVID-19. Through this unique collaboration between public and private actors, the new test center Denmark has been built and prepared for operation in less than one month. The Novo Nordisk Foundation is contributing up to 250 million Danish kroner towards the cost of obtaining the necessary testing machines, reagents and equipment to carry out up to three million tests. This is uh, a natural part of the Novo Nordisk Foundation's vision, uh, which is focused on securing better lives through better health. We want to be part of saving lives uh, through early diagnostics and uh, securing the right treatment of people who might have COVID-19. It's also a matter of reopening uh, Denmark and the Danish uh, society. Uh, and that, of course, is a combination of both uh, identifying uh, people who believe they have potential exposure and individuals who may have had the disease and hence are potentially immune to it. And then thirdly, uh, it's a matter of uh, establishing a national capacity to deal with these kinds of pandemics also uh, in the future.